modify, copy paste, and string together. In Ardas Imagine, you can find hundreds of already built spatial models. In fact, every process in Imagine, the underlying process is built upon a spatial model. So let's look at where we can find some of those. Under the Toolbox tab, if you open the Spatial Model Editor, I'll close the 2D view so we have a little bit more space. I will open and select a spatial model. There are a lot of pre-built models to use under the folder of where you installed Erdas Imagine. So if you chose the defaults when installing the software, it would be under C, Program Files, and then under Hexagon, the version of Imagine you're running, Erdas Imagine 2018, and then you'll see an ETC folder. And in the ETC folder, there'll be another folder called Models. When I double click inside the Models folder, you can see that there are several models within here, all arranged by alphabetical order, and you can choose whichever one that you may want to view and use in any capacity. So you can, for example, open up a T and DVI model, select OK, it will open the model. You could perform a file save as and save this to a different directory where you can then modify this model. You may not want to use some specific things like the stretch flag, so you don't want to stretch it to 8-bit. You'd rather leave it in floating point, so you can simply uh, delete these things. You can also copy and paste certain pieces of models and copy this and then paste it into a new model where you can then string these together and create more complex models that perform more than one function at the same time. So feel free to use the models in that directory uh, to be able to save them to your own, modify them, reuse them, copy and paste them, and create additional models uh, for your use in Erdas Imagine. Another place to see and view models, I'll go ahead and close this, is under Let's go to the Raster tab, Unsupervised, and look at the NDVI Graphical User Interface. And at the bottom here, what you're going to see is a View icon uh, button. So when I click on View, it's going to launch the spatial, spatial model of the GUI that I had open. So here again, we have an NDVI model in which you can perform a file save as, save this to your local drive, and perform modifications, deleting certain things, deleting operators, adding operators, copying, pasting, and doing whatever you would like with that model and, and do a file save as. So another way to get to models is through the graphical user interface of the functionality that you're looking for. The next option is to go to the hexagongeospatial.com website. And here you can find additional, even more complex models going under the products page, looking under the power portfolio for Erdas Imagine. When I select Erdas Imagine, it will open up to the Imagine page, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And at the bottom, you'll see something called analytical recipes. And an analytical recipe is just that, it's a spatial model. So I'll click on Hexagon Geospatial Analytical Recipes, and it will open up into the page with some spatial model tutorials. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that there are many, many pages here of spatial models. You can select any of these that you would like to view. You can download the model and even look at screenshots and learn how this model was built and you can use these as training exercises. So let's find an interesting one here. Maybe we want to extract coastline from Worldview 2 or 3 satellite imagery. So I'll select that one. This one was created by one of our partners in Italy, Planetech. So thanks to them for creating this model. It's going to show you a description. It's going to give you the information about how it all works. It's going to flow through the submodel. 
um, merge and measure and give you each description of everything that the model is doing piece by piece. It'll tell you any assumptions, what input parameters, and what is necessary for the type of input data to use this model. Um, in order to use the model, you can actually download it. Zip file, I'm able to unzip it, and I can display it in Imagine and begin using it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to unzip. So once it's downloaded and unzipped, I can drag and drop it into Ardas Imagine. And there I have the model. You can, again, file save as, modify it as you would like, string these together with additional models, copying and pasting to create much more complex uh, models that can produce multiple outputs um, that are batchable, repeatable, and provide you many value-added products using this customizable spatial modeler. And that is how you can download and use and reuse hundreds of already pre-built spatial models within your own workflow.